Awesome. So the next tool we're going to download is Genie. So Genie is an awesome text editor, kind of IDE. Uh, it's lightweight. It's got tons of plugins. So we could do USM TAC G Genie. And you can see actually two options come up. We get a result for Genie. We also get one for Genie plugins. I want both. So but for this sake, I'm going to start with just the first one, Genie. So I type in one. I hit yes. Enter to start downloading. I leave custom path blank. Now if I type in ls, you can see we have our Genie file. It is a TXD package, but that's nothing to worry about as we already learned. But before we convert this into a module, I also want to run USM TAC G Genie again so that way I can download the plugins. This time I'm going to press 2 when it prompts me with this. And now there's a bunch of dependencies it's got to resolve. So for this you can choose however you like. You can choose any of the three. There's going to be very little difference. You can pick the one with the newest version or the one from the package repo you trust the most or the one with the smallest file size. I'm going to do the one with the newest version. So I'm just going to enter in ones. And there's going to be quite a bit of packages it needs to resolve. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to demonstrate Genie. So USM is going to automatically grab all these dependencies for us. However, it's, uh, well, I'll get to that in just a second. I'll hit yes, enter to start downloading, and here it goes. This is the part where we can walk away if we had a really long download. this finish. And as you can see, it's all automatically uh, putting it in a bundle for us. So it's loading all of these dependencies in a single XCM module. So if I type in ls, you can see I have my XCM module, I have all my TXC packages for all the dependencies it needed for the plugins. I have Genie itself right here and the Genie plugins right here. Now I want all these TXE packages into one module and unfortunately this doesn't quite do this so I'm just gonna remove that one. So now we have just TXE packages in here and all the TXE packages we need. Now I'm gonna convert all of these packages at once into a single module. We're going to use a command called dir to xem, that's dir to xem, and it requires two arguments. The first one being the directory we want to convert. I'll use a period for the current directory I am in now. If uh, that's too confusing for you or you guys aren't familiar with what that dot does, you can also get the same result by typing slash tmp slash usm which is the name of the directory we're in. And then we need a name for what we're going to call it. So we'll call it genie bundle.xem. We hit enter. It creates it into a bundle. Now if I type ls, I have this genie bundle.xem module. And it's got all my dependencies inside it. So I can activate it. Genie bundle. I get the well done, Genie Bundle module's been activated. So now I type in Genie in my command line and the application pops up. So from this point, I would start making sure everything works. I still have the terminal there. Everything looks good. Whenever we decide that everything's good and we want to keep it, we move it to our Porteous modules folder so it can persist across reboots. 
Otherwise, this will go away the second we shut down our computer. Porteous modules, we hit enter, and we're good. So that's Genie. Now, we go on to the next one.